Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today they ended up showing off the brand new pack that's going to be coming to the game. This is going to be kind of interesting, it's way different than anything that they have done before. Last week they showed off the collar, this week Jaxi decided to show off the new rifle that's coming to the game, as well as the new bow. And it's really interesting to see what they've done with them. Now, I don't know how often I'm going to be using them, but I'm definitely going to take down at least a few diamonds, potentially a great one with them, because they are really cool guns. Or I guess one gun, one bow. But the new recurve bow is actually going to be quite different from the recurve bows that are currently in the game. That was one of the things I saw a lot of people wondering was, is it going to be any different than the bows that we already have? And it definitely is. Not only is it a lighter draw weight for the recurve bow, but you can also mount a sight on it. So you can put your five pin, your three pin, your range finding site, all the goodies. It's going to be really, really interesting to see what the community is going to be able to do with this because it's quite different than any bow that we've had before. He also showed off the brand new 44 Magnum lever action and it does seem like it's going to be a pretty insane gun. Jaxi was able to reach clear out to 300 meters with it without too much of an issue just by using the first mill dot on the Hyperion scope. Now this gun does have a max range of 150 meters normally, so any distance past that you will need to compensate for the drop. But like I was just mentioning, the first mill dot on the Hyperion scope gives you a perfect, perfect hit at 300 meters. You may have just noticed what I said. Yes, this can have the Hyperion and the Argus scope on it. This is a more modernized lever action, so it is going to be able to fit all of your modern scopes. Which is pretty huge, because I mean, the uh, the lever action scope doesn't have nearly as much zoom as something like the Argus, and it's got a little bit of a weird, like, tinted color on the scope as well, which is not everybody's cup of tea, so it's going to be nice that we can put all of the other scopes on this one. The rifle will be a class 3-8 to eight rifle that holds 6 rounds, so it's actually going to be pretty decent. The only thing that I am a little bit worried about with this rifle is the fact that every time you shoot, when you go to reload, uh, to put another shell into the chamber, it kicks you out of the scope view briefly. And I know a lot of people in the stream when I mentioned it were like, oh, I actually really, really like that. And I got to say, it does look really cool. The only reason that it worries me a little bit is because if you're trying to make a follow-up shot and it's kicking you out of the scope, sometimes with the with guns that do that, Whenever it kicks you out of the scope, if you're moving your mouse or like using your joystick to move to the next deer that you're going to shoot, sometimes it will go back to your sensitivity that you have for being unscoped. If I'm not mistaken, with the Mosin, when it kicks you out of there, it also goes back to your uh, non-aimed sensitivity. I, I don't know if I said that right, but you, you get what I mean. Like the sensitivity changes because you're no longer looking down the scope. And I'm a little worried that it's going to do that, which would make this gun not very good for taking follow-up shots. However, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. We'll have to get it in our hands and actually test it out. Hopefully we'll be able to very, very soon. I mean, it's less than a week until this releases, so that would mean that we probably will get a hold of it soon. The Jaxi also ended up showing off all of the brand new skins that are going to be coming with this update. There's going to be three different skin packs that you can purchase. They have not said what the price is going to be yet. And uh, they're also going to be available in a bundle if you want to buy all three packs at once. And I believe you save a little bit if you buy all three of them. So we're going to be getting a lot of new skins. He showed off a bunch of those. We're not going to really show off all of them because it would take way too long to do so in this video. But they look good. This might be some of the best skins they've put in the game. A lot of them are going to be very widely used, in my opinion, because they just look really good. They look more like stuff you would see on an actual gun IRL. Of course, there is a few skins coming in that are going to be a little more wacky, but there, for the most part, is a lot of realistic different uh, weapon skins in here, which is going to be really nice. There's a lot of stuff that I could see a lot of people using, so that's really cool. That's all we've got for today. This is just going to be a short video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as uh, leaving a like and comment down below, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!